It's harvest time on the Mount of Olives. Armed with ladders and rakes, young and old people spent a morning harvesting olives at the Getsemane Hermitage. International and diverse group. I think it's like a, it's a nice tradition and it's important work. It has to be done. Hannah, with her husband and two daughters, arrived two weeks ago from Sweden and she reveals a secret. They're used to picking cherries in Sweden. <laughs> Iayoi is a Japanese musician and singer, invited by the mother of one of her students. Here is a Gethsemane that Jesus got in. Picking an olive in here is something else, of course. We were very excited as a Palestinian family to come to this holiest uh, place and do the holy service of picking olives as um, an engraved rite for the Palestinians in Jerusalem. The day begins with a moment of recollection for peace in the Holy Land. Brother Diego, the person in charge of the hermitage, leads it. God, he says, is working with us and in us. It's beautiful to create relationship, a family atmosphere, and to see that it's good to gather together here internationally. Some volunteers involved in the collection are guests of the Hermitage. Morning Lexio, Hour of Adoration every day, Vespers, Mess, and doing like St. Martha, working by praying and praying by working. Lavorare, pregando, pregando, lavorando. I've been staying here in Gatchmanim for uh, like two weeks, doing a retreat in meditation, me and my wife. And uh, today is a free day, so we work. The cold press is put into operation and the oil begins to come out, an extra virgin of the highest quality. This year's harvest is good and promises abundant production. We usually use it for us, for the friars of the custody, and we also give it to the monasteries that are here in Jerusalem. Different, however, is the destination of the harvest in the Holy Garden, the oldest part of Gethsemane, which holds millennia-old olive trees. The kernels are used to make rosaries, while the oil is blessed on the night of Holy Thursday at the Holy Sepulchre and distributed to all parishes in the Holy Land. It is what the bishop or the patriarch will use, either to ordain new priests, to consecrate some churches, and also for the sick. So there is a very, very deep connection with the mystery of Jesus' passion, and also symbolically, we are connected with this oil.